Okay, so now that we have our eight conductor wire hooked up to our control panel box, I want to hook up the wires going to our aviation plug. This contains our three wires for our DIN switch and also two wires for our e-stop circuit. This is the secondary cable that went up to the control panel and I'm just using a 5 pin aviation plug and so now I'm going to solder these connections to this side and then we'll come back and do the other side. I'm just going to take this apart on the drawing I have the indication of where the pin is and so my drawing is looking at the connector like so so this pin over furthest over here on top is pin 5 and then it goes this is 1 2 3 4 and 5 and so what I did was I just marked my drawing here uh, 1 2 3 4 and 5 So I just need to make sure I get the connection soldered correctly and we should be good to go. So what I want to do first is solder this very bottom connection. That will probably be the easiest and that is pin 3. And pin 3 on the drawing is my red wire. So I'll just kind of get it out of the way and make sure that I get pin 3. them lined up like so. Let this heat up for a minute. Okay, our next wire is pin 4 which is our blue wire so I've got it on pin 4 here and again the trick is just to kinda of touch the wire and the pin at the same time and then touch the solder onto the iron and pull it over to the wire and then draw it over to the draw it over to the pin like so. And then that way you don't heat the pin up too much and melt the plastic that's around it. So next will be our orange pin 5 and we'll be using uh, our brown wire and that's our top pin here. And let me just like so. That ought to be good. Some of these aviation plugs, the pins are hollow enough and you can kind of stick the wire in there. These don't seem to have that. So. But you can still work with them. They just have like a little space there for you to put the wire. So I'm going to connect these other two wires up. Green's going to go on pin 2. And white's going to go on pin 1. And then we'll do the other side of the plug. Okay, so now what I have is the ends of the wire that came from the control panel. And I've just stripped off about an inch here and then stripped the ends of each wire about uh, 3 16 and put some heat shrink over the end. And I also slid some bigger heat shrink over there and we're going to cover this up once we get the wire soldered. So the plug is connected <clears throat> and uh, there's a little Phillips head screw here that you undo and you just pull off the end. I'm going to slide this 
loosen these screws up just a hair and then we're also going to slide this on oh, get this back on over the end of our wire there we go like so then slide a piece of the half inch over the wire like so all right and my connector is connected here show you like so and then that way I can just line the wires up with the wires on this side so the first wire I'm going to connect here is the white wire and it goes right there so kind of move these out of the way get that one you can just kind of lay that on there use your kind of hold it in place Hopefully this is coming out in focus on the video. Just kind of touch it to the iron and then draw it to the wire. That's on solid. Then our next wire here is our brown wire. So we can pull it over, kind of give this a turn here. Manipulate this a little. So, okay. And then I'm just going to work my way around. Okay, so we have the finished wiring, and now I'm just going to slide my half inch <clears throat> over this. Double check, make sure that nothing is crossed, nothing's touching, and there's not, uh, you don't want to have any trouble later on down the road. And just shrink the heat shrink tubing. Like so. Slide your end up. Where is the... Okay, there's the screw. You don't want to make sure it's too thick. Okay, so on the other end, I've just slid a piece of half inch heat shrink over the end, like so. Just to cover up these connections here. I'm just going to heat shrink that. Like so. And then This will get connected to the control box, like so. I'm going to run it through the box. And put the washer and the nut on. Go ahead and tighten that down.
And then these wires will also go to the uh, C11GS breakout board. And that will be for my e-stop line, PN10, and also for my DIN plug. I'm not going to connect those yet. I'm just going to make sure that I have enough wiring uh, to get it to where it needs to go. My inputs for my uh, e-stop PN10 is on this side here. I just need to make sure I have enough wire to go there. Along. I should be able to get where I need to go. We'll make those connections later on and uh, that just plugs into the back. So thanks for watching the video. Please feel free to comment if you have any questions. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe and most importantly, be safe.